Hello YouTube, Retro Prime here, and let me tell you, when I was a kid, I found three things to be very difficult. Number one, counting. Number two, Marble Madness for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So without further ado, let's check out this game. So in this game, it's your job to control the marble, or that blue little ball there, to the end of the level within the time limit. But let's get one thing straight here. Controlling your balls is really hard to do, whether in real life or in this game. The levels on this game are incredible though. They all kind of have this kind of groovy, old school computer slash MCS or style to them and each one is unique in their own way and I dig that. I think the overall feeling of this game is challenging but to be honest that's kind of what makes Marble Madness cool. You see half the fun of this game is learning to overcome the levels and the controller difficulties so that you become a real master of the game. It's not for people that are going to get upset easily. In fact, this game is for people that have a lot of patience. Doctors of the NES controller. You know, real wizards of the D-pad, if you will. And I'm just going to throw this out there. I think Wizards of the D-pad would be an awesome band name. And speaking of music, this game's got some pretty sweet tunes to it. I want to give a special thanks to Sean, aka Skills, for donating this game to the show. Thanks a lot, man. Alright gang, that wraps up the review for Marble Madness on the Nintendo Entertainment System. We'll see you next time. Take care.